What time is it? It's Packard Folks at time. Hat? Check. Shirt? Check. Pants? Optional. Mug? Double check. Check us out at cafepress.com slash Packard Folks at where you can get all this great merchandise and more. Do you like Packard Pokes at and want to hear it on demand and on the go? Download the free app today at Stitcher.com. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. This is Packard Pokes at and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Hello everybody, this is Packard Pokes at the midweek show. This is episode four, no, yeah, 454. And tonight we have with me is Connie Practical Magic 9. Hello. And we have Tom, our friendly neighborhood atheist. That's or, me. Your neighborhood, or your friendly neighborhood atheist. Depends on which neighborhood you're in. And we have <laughs> Matt joining us from the ill that is also from Illinois. Hello. There he is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Christmas. God. He, he, I, I was just, I was in suspense. Don't leave us hanging like that. Yeah, don't leave us hanging, man. No, I mean no, no, no. Sorry. I, I haven't had any I've had zero sleep. I'm really tired and I'm not in a very good mood. As all you know. Yes, no, we no. we saw we saw yeah. I, I saw that. <laughs> Connie has yeah. uh, apparently shared with you a piece of news article. I had news articles I was going to share, but I think this one's going to take the taco. Uh, do you want to cover it, Matt, or do you want to? Uh, do you want? Yes, some- I I do want to cover it because I okay. I read I didn't read the whole article, but I read part of it and uh, okay. Apparently, uh, Mr. Trump. Our, our lovely president, sorry, I'm trying to hold back here, um, has uh, put forth an executive order that he is going to sign the First Amendment Defense Act. Okay. He's going to sign it tomorrow because tomorrow is a day of prayer, apparently. Oh, he's fucking and, and a lot of religious people are going to be at the White House. So I think that's why he's doing it. I do have, I do have a, p- a piece of good news for you there, Matt. Just because uh, Trump signs an executive order doesn't mean the ca- the courts can't stop it. And right now, as it's happened before, that uh, there are, have been other things that Trump has signed into executive order and has been stopped by the courts. And mm-hmm. saying that places can, if you're not familiar with the the FADA, the the First Amendment Defense Act, it basically says if you own a business, you can use it to discriminate against somebody who's gay for religious reasons and which is total bullshit and in the past there has been uh bills that have been put forth by trump n- not quite like this but other ones like uh, other bills or first amendment Exec- Act or executive orders executive orders thank you executive orders that have been challenged by the courts and then stopped dead in their tracks so just because right. he signs it doesn't mean it becomes law automatically. It's going to take a little bit of time before it starts filtering out, and it's going to get stopped by a judge because this cannot, does not stand uh, constitutional muster. That's why, uh, if you remember several years back, there was that bakery that uh, got sued mm-hmm. for uh, discrimination, and they took it all the way through the courts, and the, cu- the couple basically got their asses handed to them. Mm-hmm. So as much as I hate the fact that Trump is doing this for a photo op, because religion and bullshit, it's not going to stand constitutional muster. So we can take, I, I would like to take a little bit of solace in that. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, it's all we can well, do. Well, I, I don't know. I guess what what bothers me is this stirs the pot and it further uh, creates like barriers between ourselves and people of faith instead of having a discussion about what, you know, your faith is one thing, but... You know, discrimination is another. Instead, we're back to it's. It feels like he's trying to throw it back to square zero. And how much yeah. time and money is being wasted with this stupid order? And how much am, animosity is it? And granted, you know, the poop is floating to the top, and so I guess we can see who is and who isn't really for this. But it's disgusting. The article I shared, the first article, was on a thing called The Nation, which I found out is the oldest continuously printed magazine in the U.S. It's 150 years old. It's also on an LGBTQ site. It said, well, you know what? Yeah, but by 2020, even if this goes through, you know, it'll be reversed. I'm, and I'm sitting there thinking, three years of this, really? Even, you know, even if it doesn't become law, the fact that this could bog everything down for three yeah. years and uh, it just, it, 
pisses me off and 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 make people feel like you know what guess what it, your personally held religious beliefs mean that you can treat other people like this no you know if i'm sorry if we were talking about skin color right now yes this would not yep. even be a exactly. discussion right exactly. just yeah I was, thinking, I was thinking the same exact thing if this had been somebody that's uh, uh black or asian or whatever or any nationality that they would have said hey uh no they this is not something you should be signing but the fact is because somebody's gay they think oh yeah that's a that's a thing you can discriminate against people can take the fucking religion and they can shove it up their ass well that's another thing it's it's basically giving the message once again that if you are religious yes you have special rights you can do whatever the fuck you want to you've got special god privileges so you know if you hate people go ahead and hate them god gave you that, that right that's all yeah. this is, is the, Special message to them. That's yes, why I don't like religion because it's it, it's hateful. Yeah, and Matt uh, said just before we get on here, I don't. Matt, do you want to repeat what you said in the chat room, in our <laughs> private little chat room there? Uh, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> we should about something hey, not be bleep, 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 bleep. no about something not be a walking on the fence anymore along those lines. Oh, you mean atheist? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a full fledged atheist now. There you go. That, hey, you know what? We had a pod. Donald Trump had a positive impact. We he made another atheist, and probably he's going to make a hell of a lot more. I've I've joined the dark side. <laughs> Here's your cookies. We have cookies. We have the best cookies. <laughs> we have the biggest cookies. Yeah. The trouble is that this things like this it doesn't yeah. speak to the the eighty percent of religious people who are perfectly nice, perfectly accepting, perfectly good people. This speaks to the ten to twenty percent. Of assholes who actually have power, who can actually discriminate effectively and make this world a worse place. They have power because they seek it too. Because yes. people like Pat Robertson for, since 1980 exactly. has been telling them that we need to be a voice in government and do and do these things. And granted, you know, I mean, people want to vote, people want to run for office, I guess, you know. But he's making it political. And uh, you're right. I mean, it's it's and it's. It's the most hateful ones. Yes. It's it's very frustrating. I I know so many awesome people who really don't care about anything that anybody else is doing. It's you know religion is so personal that it's like you know it it may drive a few things for them, but it doesn't drive stuff like this. Yeah. I just no. Um. Yeah. I I know. If you, if you have a religion, if you have a religious belief, fucking keep it to yourself. Exactly. Well, that's probably this, this appeals to the worst of them and the ones that will not keep it to themselves. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, think of it this way. You know, they, they talk about, you know, the 1% of the population of, uh, who's basically running this country. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the other 99% are getting shit on, right? Yeah. You, you bring in the separation, you know, the, you know, the separation of church and state. Well, guess what? That's all coming together. Yeah, you're right. And, yeah. and this is really going to touch a nerve. I mean, the, I mean, it's touch a nerve with me, but I'm just saying that throughout this country it is going to touch a nerve. Yeah. Now, what you just said there was very important. What you just said, the fact is the separation church and state, because they want to introduce this bill as a religious document, saying religious people can discriminate. That crosses the line between church and state. Exactly. That that is not going to hold constitutional muster, and a judge out there who is not a fucking ass monkey, he's going to stand up to Trump, and he's going to say, "Hey, motherfucker, no," and fucking oh, you can fucking count on goddamn Bill or this executive order being saying, "Hey, fuck to the no," you're not going to this. You sign this shit, and it's going to come up, and it's going to be shoved right back up your fucking ass, you little fucking twit monkey. Trump. Oh, by the way, he didn't write this order. We, the, the, well, at least the one that was leaked, it's, I don't know, five, four or five, six pages and lots of big words. I'm like, that's not a tweet. Oh, there's no way Trump wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, uh, no, uh, again, I just, I just hate what it's going to do in the meantime. And when you talk about the 1% and the 99%, I have to wonder again, what, what are you distracting us with? How much in how much of this infighting and crap are you are are you inciting so that you guys can just keep us off of what we should actually probably be worried about? Yeah, you know that's a, that's a good question because if if you saw the show from last this last Friday, 
uh, we have we covered you know what the the shit that's on the back burner of mm -hmm. Donald Trump's administration that he is trying to distract us with by saying hey uh, don't look at my left hand or don't look at my right hand look at don't look at over here at the left hand and that's where all the, the magic is happening as it were so or you know the the magic as it were but here's the strange thing about it yeah I haven't heard anything. And the news at all about this? Nothing. Not one iota of and anything. Oh, and it's being and it's being signed tomorrow, and yet there's nothing on. Again, I'm not watching a lot of news on TV well, right now. Am I, but uh, I, 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 I'm still, you know, keeping the loop with my local news here, and sure. I have not seen or heard one iota of anything about this. Uh, this is even this since is, I found out about this back in like I think it was November. Yes. That I found out about this, I have not heard one thing about it. You know what? It might help is. And and sometimes it's uh, these reporters, even though they may they may not be covering everything, or they, I, I sometimes it takes a little kick in the pants to say, "Hey, go cover this shit. This is happening fucking now." Tell sometimes you have to call up your local newspapers, you have to call up your local uh, TV station, and say, "Hey, Donald Trump is signing a, an executive order saying he's trying to introduce a religious document into our fucking secular government." Well, does this also bring up our combative way that Trump is approaching the press? Does I mean he's law? Well, you know, he I I mean he there's been press. Excuse me, there's been press that's been I don't know shut out of uh, press of briefings. He just you know he's he's not signing things in front of other people. He's having private meetings with heads of state, at, yeah. you know, and, and uh, the press is not being allowed in. How much are they? not being told themselves it does i mean i'm wondering that a lot yeah. is, no, is that's, that... good, that's a good that that's a good point connie the fact is that the the trump is you know shutting out the media and he says oh fake media fake news fake news yeah. don't believe what they say it's only fake for what he thinks is fake and everything else isn't you know yeah right and here's the bad thing about this now you know with all this religious stuff there's a bad thing <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I guess uh, on Saturday, my nephew, my se my seven year old nephew, is making his first communion, and I have to go to a, I have to set foot into a church, and then on a Monday, I have to go to my cousin's funeral, did, and setting foot into another Catholic church. Did Did you want a lightning rod? Because I can send you one. It's it's a special one you keep in your pocket. It just it just shoots everything right. All the, it, it tracks all the lightning bolts, and they go right down your pant leg, right into the carpet. You never feel a thing. Well, oh, my my cool. daughter's doing that next weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. First communion because her mother's uh, turned into a religious nut. Yeah, you know, and I and I have a a cousin. In fact, his sister just passed. I mean, uh, but anyways, he's a Catholic priest actually. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I don't know how this is gonna. Do you think there's gonna be a rift that that's gonna grow greater between you and him, or? Or I hope think? not. I mean, because you know, I I respect my cousin for who he is. Just not not that he's a priest, but as a person i'm gonna say this right now that there are going to be christians out there that are going to look at this because they actually have more than two fucking brain cells in their head so christians out there i am giving some of you a nod not all of you some right. of you a nod that you have more than two brain cells in your head and you're going to look at this you're going to go hey that's not a right that's not right you what you're doing is a fucking wrong while we are poking at your news, you can poke us at Facebook and Twitter or poke us with an email at ppapodcast at gmail.com or leave us a message at 662-709-PPAP. Join us live on YouTube slash Packard Pokeset on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. Be part of the conversation by live chatting with us during the show. Enjoy the show? Help support us by becoming a monthly patron at patreon.com slash Packard Pokeset. Or look awesome by buying something at cafepress.com slash Packard Pokeset. No money, no problem. You can help us by sharing the show with friends and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher. For everyone that shares and rates us, you kick ass. The Atheists. The Bible. And No Wardrobe, the podcast. Wait a minute. No wardrobe? You mean we're going to be naked while we do this? Well, seeing how I'm an atheist and I'm reading the Bible and since clothes are flammable... Fire! 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 I thought it might be a good idea to take them all off first. <laughs> naked or not... 
follow along as we read, analyze, and try to keep you from falling asleep as we go through this boring-ass book. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Who knows? We may even be on YouTube someday. Let this be. Let this be the uh, the little wedge or the dripping water. The dripping water that you know weakens the stone. Because I mean, these were the things. These were the sort of things that really made me start to question a lot of things. And then I would try and just block it out. And um, specifically about gay people, I didn't understand. You know, the first gay person I met was when I went, when I uh, joined college, and I, I met a couple of of guys and a couple gals and I'm like, Oh yeah, you're really, Oh, you're that. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. And it wasn't until later that, you know, people started saying in churches I attended, Oh, that's, that's a sin. That's I'm, I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, that's, I was sad. And I'm like that. Why is that? And so, you know, again, uh, sometimes it's nagging thing. Uh, maybe it takes a while for people because, you know, if it's a deeply held belief, uh, it's, it's hard to walk away from that stuff. But, you're right. I mean, I hope that a lot of people hear this and go, well, I don't see why this is an issue. You, you guys want to hear some real quick story here? Sure. Uh, yeah. Almost 10 years ago, my cousin's uh, son was born and we went to the baptism and before the baptism, they had a mass. And during the, I guess the homily or whatever they call it, mm -hmm. this priest was preaching politics like you wouldn't believe. Oh, Christ. I mean, about 20 people actually got up and left because they couldn't stand what he was talking about. I mean, he was, because it was an election year or there was an election going on and it, it was just, I mean, I, I, I couldn't, I, I was dumbfounded by it. And it just, it's like, you're going to do that in a church? <laughs> I mean, so that, that it just brings back memories of that, you know? So yeah, I, just, well, I just wanted to share that. Well, it's, I, I don't necessarily want to get off the topic of, you know, NADA, but not, not, whatever this was called, I'm sorry. Uh, not, um, evidently in Kansas City, I'm assuming that's Missouri, the Archdiocese is cutting ties with Girl Scouts because they have some kind of connections. To, they're, they're a co-group with uh, people and parenthood, right, uh, in a in group. And, and now they're going to tell all their churches around, yeah, don't don't let Girl Scouts meet at your churches because of this. And Girl Scouts traditionally have had a, a I see a pretty liberal, you know, view. In the 90s, they stopped saying that you had to say God and the Girl Scout pledge and things. It was optional. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've taken they've just taken so much flack for this. But you're talking about and you're talking about the Catholic Church, and I'm like I'm just thinking about this. I'm like that's so crazy I well i mean know. it's like the boy scouts the boy scouts wouldn't allow gays in there for yes. years and then all of a sudden boom they just decided okay we're just gonna allow it yeah oh no there was a big <laughs> there was a big fucking controversy about letting gays into the boy scouts no i i know but i'm just saying that i, I was surprised that mm -hmm. it actually happened because yeah. they are so anti-gay it, it, it's just unbelievable I, I thought with I the think, Salvation Army. Oh yeah, Salvation yeah. Army. Yeah, the reason I think that the Boy Scouts let in let in uh, gay people is is the fact is they knew that if they didn't, uh, they were going to get sued. And um, money is the root of uh, all their religion. That's true. But I wonder if this, you know, if this does go into law, I wonder if that's going to change. No, it won't make it to law. I guarantee it will not make it to law. Yeah, I, that's what I, they I, said about Trump. I hate to be, you know. A naysayer, but we are continually surprised by the idiocy of America. Yeah. We're continually surprised by the just the complete ass backwards behavior of those who actually have power. Yeah, that's because they're, they're because they 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 are afraid of moving forward. They are not progressive. They are regressive people. They want to live in a fucking past, and the future frightens them. Yes, exactly. Well, when you look at the when you look at the majority of Trump supporters, and you look at their education, and you look at their economic uh, status, uh, which you know it might determine all kinds of things like their diet and anything else, I, I just have to say, well, okay, kind of makes sense. They are afraid of losing their white man privilege. Yeah, plain yeah, and simple. And, and as a white man, I can say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, wait, I'm a white man too. Tom, you get boy Last time Tom, I checked. Tom, Tom, you get a privilege. Be, be, wait, wait a minute. So I'm not getting my memos again. Where, where do you, where, where do I get this privilege? Well, that's the bullshit story. Is, is like, I don't have white man privilege. Like, 
you put yourself against anyone of an equal standing, you know, upbringing and education, a white man always has the privilege. You may not have the privilege if somebody had a better education and a better upbringing, but you right. put an equal standing, the white man's always got the privilege to anyone else. Always. Yes. Every single yes. time. I, if you looked at where I lived, you can guarantee you that I have no privilege. Yes, but if you, <laughs> I guarantee you, you put somebody with the, a black man with the same education you have and the same financial upbringing you had, you have privilege. That's, and that's the point. I think it, it's been something really hard for me to understand because I don't know, because I grew up around majority of white people and everything. And I was like, well, I don't hate people because of their skin color. And once I was able to say, okay, I have to move beyond that idea, uh, then I was able to listen to it and say, oh, okay, I and I understand now. I understand, you know, I get pushed back because I'm a woman, but because I'm a white woman, you know, there's still some, I've had more, I've had more prejudice against me because of my zip code, because of my address. Uh, once people find that out, they're like, oh, you know, or they find out that I've been a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I've been just totally dissed in, in public, you know, in, in groups because of, these things but that you know obviously i already had the card quote unquote you know because i'm why i got this pass i got that far but then i didn't go any further nobody cared you know among women nobody cared that i had you know at least two years of college and i pretty well pretty well read and everything nobody cared about that so you know well i also funny. think i also think that you know, the demographic area where you live you know what 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 the makeup is as far as you know whites versus blacks or other minorities i mean where i grew up at i i grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood but i also went to school with a lot of black kids as well you know when i first started first grade back in 77 um, oh, okay yeah you know i mean because you know where i live in the chicago at the time i was living in chicago and you know it was a diverse community you know, it's a diverse city right so i mean for people who live in like chicago new york la you know it, there were different. a handful of black kids there were a handful of black kids in my, my junior high and my high school it it really wasn't that many you know in i graduated in 76 and so it's like yeah you know i look i look now and i even go through the neighborhoods now and i see oh you know i i like to see the diversity i it's just it's strange though i it the north pacific northwest we didn't you know it wasn't while well, we were sparsely populated everybody always thinks seattle so that's where everybody congregates but um that's off topic so yeah anyway uh, yeah yeah it <laughs> The administration said they were planning on doing this since January. Said that such an order is isn't the plan at this time, but stopped short of saying that they wouldn't go not go through it with it at some point. But uh, of course, they are now saying that of course they are going to be signing this on this Thursday, which is tomorrow. Uh, well, and the and, and the NADA was something that was proposed in 2015 under Obama's administration by the by the Republicans. Yep. they've resurrected this thing. Yep. I knew it was going to happen. I, I just, I, I could feel it, you know? You're a prophet. You're a fucking prophet. I guess so. I, I just, when I, when I get a feeling, I'm usually right about it. Yeah. And I was definitely right about this. I just had a feeling that something's going to pop up, you know, soon. Yeah. And I was right. Unfortunately, the, the, this is one of those times, you know, I, I, I get those feelings too, but sometimes I'm, I'm wish that I'm wrong. Most of the times I'm not, but uh, there are those times I am and, this is one of those times I wish you were wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a year ago, I know. A year ago, we were laughing about a president, uh, a Trump presidency. Yeah. We were. And now we're looking at the nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yep. Before we go, I just want to thank one of our donors uh, that to the show here. They uh, helped keep me. They sent me a little bit of a money. I, they, the way they framed their note, I think that they didn't want me to mention who they were. Uh, but they are. Uh, sent me enough where I can uh, live indoors for another month. So thank you very much. Oh, I that's appreciate good. It. Yes. Congratulations. Thank awesome. you. Uh, congratulations <laughs> on being able to live indoors. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Packard, if I could help you out, I would. Yeah, I know you would. I know you would. I but appreciate I, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I, we're all struggling here, you know? Yeah, I understand that. If you're out there and you would like to make a donation to the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Packard Pokes at, and uh, you can donate a dollar or two there if you want to. Or go to the uh, GoFundMe Packard's Payday, and uh, you can make a one-time donation or a, a, a reoccurring donation if you want to, and help keep me indoors uh, a little longer than a month, which would be really nice because I, I like living indoors. Because <laughs> it's not it's not camping season. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and living in my car kind of makes takes the fun out of uh, you know doing a podcast. Yeah, especially in a smart car. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot of room in there. I just no. just hey, yeah. Packer, yeah. just remember if you're ever in that little smart car and you have to fart, make sure you roll on the windows. That's how I make the car bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did just enough beans and I do it, I can actually float right off the road. <laughs> Is, 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 that's a mileage plus. It's a stretch. That's a mileage plus. You're doing I right. See. I just get a nice little going on. How many miles are they going to get? Oh, I get about 100. I get about 120 now. <laughs> Depends on how many beans I eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to laugh. Got to have humor. Where when does I'm the tailpipe go? <laughs> You don't want to know. It's kind of like the Jetsons, you know. Jane, how do you stop this crazy thing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured out how quite a, the only way I can stop is just to roll the windows down. Then I can just right back down <laughs> around the ground again. So, all right. Well, we I got to get uh, we got to get out of here. Uh, come to the show on Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time. Uh, this channel, uh, youtubecom slash at 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Mountain. And if you're in Mountain Time, be sure to turn the lights off when you get done. Because you're the only one living in mountain time. So, <laughs> <You're> so <mean. laughs> I'm so mean to people living in mountain time. I don't know why. <laughs> it's because you live in the flatlands. <laughs> flatlands. Flatlands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you gully. Mountain, man. I live in, I live in an area south that south was south carved south. out by the freaking goddamn glaciers. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's compare those glaciers. No. <laughs> Let's compare glaciers. I got a bigger That's glacier. Right. All right. Uh, anyway, no. good night. Good, good night, afternoon. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good, night. good night. good afternoon. Whenever you listen to this. Good night. And that's a wrap. <laughs>